Okay, YouTube. Um, hi, Mason Productions here. Now, this was supposed to be the first part of my last video. But that one, fortunately, was too long. So, I had to make it into that second part, so, at the beginning. So, um, yeah, here's that squad I showed you in the other video, updates and reviews. So, but the, this is part of the review. Um, so, first, um, this, this is a, this is a tank, I'm still deciding a name for it. It's a clone Republic tank. Thick fire missile guns, you don't flick the missiles or anything. So yeah, it's a bit like the UTAD design. I mean, like you know how the way shape is, but nothing like the UTAD. Next, there's this droid tank. Yes. So unfortunately, it's not a hovering tank. It's, it's more of a tread tank. So it's got treads, and it's made out of the Hailfire tank. And then it's got these full-on battle frontier guns. Which is a pretty cool um, feature to it. Next, uh, you just sit the driver in here, and he's got this little C uh, hole that can go through here. So this spins in a full 360 degrees. So yeah, and it goes up, down, you can hold the thing like that. So like if you ever make like a droid drops, or if I make a if I ever make a droid drop here, it could like maybe pick it up or something. But I'd have to take this piece off. Next you've got these little tiny guns right here. These little mortar like things. And last but not least to the tank, just a little back gun. Uh, yeah. Back bubble turret ball turret and it's got these like little armor pieces. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it for these tanks. And if you guys are wondering, no, this video is not done. <laughs> Which sounds kind of weird just to say it that way. But let me go get the next thing I'm going to show you. Try droid. Uh one of my best Creations, I think. It was made out of four battle packs. Yeah, so it took a little planning, but I think it turned out pretty well. So it's got that ball on top, as you can see, right here. It's got a little spinning device on the bottom, so it's supposed to spin like in the movie. And it's got the four big blasters and then the four red eyes. I know this is originally supposed to have three legs, but I couldn't angle them the right way because I only have so many pieces. And the guns can go down, Let's see, like down a bit, down, up. Okay, so yeah. Um, now, the last thing to this, which is the best part, you guys are going to be shocked, maybe not shocked, but just surprised, my Actimator. So, yeah, I've come, I've come back to making the Acclimators. Um, yeah, it's about as long as the gunship, well, including the back part. So, um, if you guys are surprised about this, don't be, because, well, I used to have that old activator, which was pretty crappy, and those of you that favorited it, like Darth 1018, I'm sure you guys are going to love this one even more. So, yeah, I know that one sucked. So, yeah, so it's just got some detailing right here, a little hanger right here, two heavy guns, like, to protect the hanger. Same thing on the other side, just um, I don't want to spin it because got the long red stripe. I still need to do the covering on it, but it still turned out pretty well. Mm. Let me show you the back. It's turned around. So, yeah, it's 
got the engines. I just need to add one more of these blue pieces right here. Actually, let me go do that right now. Okay. I'm going to attach this piece to it. Okay, so. There we go. Like that. And you got this long box right here. And you got a little detailing. So, yeah. And the command bridge. Kind of like Carlage in day two. He gave me like all the idea for the detailing and stuff. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So that's pretty much it to this video. Um, Maceo Productions. Thanks for watching this. Uh, signing out. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll be coming back at you with another video. Uh, just showing you on my ATTE once, and goodbye.